As of May 26th of 2024, there are currently 46 volcanoes which are actively erupting around the planet, a total which is one more than last week. One of these erupting complexes can be found within a scenic sandy caldera surrounded by a rainforest where it is ejecting a strong gas plume that occasionally contains small amounts of ash. What I am referring to is Indonesia's Mount Bromo volcano. While the namesake vent of this complex is by far its most active, at least two other vents within the same caldera have erupted during the Holocene. And now, here are this week's top volcano-related news stories. In Indonesia, the colors of two highly acidic crater lakes of the Kelamutu volcano change, indicating an increase in activity beneath the volcano. Meanwhile, also in Indonesia, the Suwo volcano, which is a cluster of Mars, produced an unexpected eruption, ejecting tens of thousands of tons of rock and mud. And in what is this week's top and most requested story for me to cover, New Zealand experienced its first noteworthy volcanic eruption in half a decade. This eruption did not occur on New Zealand's North Island, but instead at the uninhabited White Island volcano 50 kilometers north-northeast of the town of Wakatane. This eruption began without warning at 8.20 a.m. local time on May 24th, when a phreatic explosion sent a plume of gases primarily composed of steam to an altitude of 3 kilometers, or 9,843 feet. As this eruption plume drifted towards the north-northeast, a light dusting of ash fell on the island, accumulating to around 1 to 2 millimeters thick. This ash had an unusual greenish-yellow instead of grey color, likely owing to the ash being composed of destroyed hydrothermally altered rock rich in sulfur and clay minerals. As a result of this brief eruption, the crater lake level deepened, as some water had been ejected as steam during what I estimate to have been a low NVEI-1 eruption. However, a mere 24 hours later, White Island erupted again, producing a similar magnitude phreatic eruption at 8.10 a.m. local time. As a result, White Island's aviation color code is being maintained at orange, and its alert level on the 0 to 5 scale is remaining as a 3, indicating that a minor volcanic eruption with localized effects is ongoing. While White Island may produce additional small eruptions in the next several days, it is unlikely to produce enough ash or a sufficient plume height for even a dusting of ash to fall on sections of the North Island. Heading over to Indonesia's Flores Island, west of the erupting Luatobi volcano, is the scenic Kelamutu volcano, which contains three beautiful crater lakes. When any of these crater lakes produce a change in coloration, it can indicate increasing magmatic or hydrothermal activity which could eventually result in a phreatic eruption. Such a color change was witnessed this week at two of Kilomutu's three crater lakes, with the Nua Muri Kua Tai Lake suddenly having a greatly increased abundance of floating silver in its waters, while at the same time the Atapolo Lake changed color from turquoise to light blue to dark blue. As a result, Kelamutu's alert level was raised from green to yellow on May 24th, carrying with it a 250-meter radius exclusion zone around its Nua Marikua Tai Crater Lake. The reason why only this crater lake now has an exclusion zone is because it represents the only vent to have produced an eruption in historic times. While there does not appear to be any imminent signs that Kelamutu is about to produce its first eruption since 1968, Phreatic eruptions are essentially impossible to predict. However, the same activity occurred in 2013 and that did not result in a volcanic eruption. Heading over to Sumatra, we encounter the Suwo volcano which unexpectedly produced its largest eruption in 91 years on May 24th. This eruption was purely phreatic in nature, involving three explosions across a time span of 30 minutes. The second explosion was the most destructive of the group, blasting an estimate at 22,600 metric tons of mud and rock into the air, which accumulated to at least 30 centimeters thick in a radius of 130 meters or 427 feet. Luckily, the eruption caused no casualties. However, due to the risk of more presumably smaller phreatic eruptions occurring, a 500 meter radius exclusion zone was declared around the Kramakran crater which erupted. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. 
Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on May 25th of 2024.